are once again. It's the time for a mobile expo. Uh, the things I do for this channel, running all the way out to the eastern side of Bangkok, just to get a bit of clickbait candy for all our viewers. But yeah, I thought that might be the title for the video today. Uh, what are these things they call the, the Thai pretties? Um, and they were at all the expos, they were all the shows. Um, we did talk about that uh, on a recent live stream, a little bit more frank and down to earth. Um, but yeah, this is what Thailand seems to offer some of these people is uh, a unique perspective of buying stuff <laughs> with pretty girls selling it to you. Anyway, so here we are. I know it's a bit windy, sorry about the wind noise, but uh, we'll be inside very shortly. Yes, of course, like the expo's on from the 3rd to the 6th of October here. So when the video comes out, obviously the expo's finished. But uh, that doesn't mean we can't go and see what's on offer at the moment in the way of mobile phones. Um, as I said, I'm looking for one. So uh, let's see what we've got. Looks like they've got a fairly good sort of selection of phones and bits and pieces. Just looking through the door at least anyway. So let's wander around. And of course, here we are at our first selection of lovely girls. Hi, Carp. Somebody, mate. Soon. Yes, I do believe it's a sort of a game. They're paid to be here to attract the customers, uh, and of course, us people like vloggers and and the newspapers, we come to see them. It's a sort of a it's a catch twenty two situation. Uh, they're always ready for the camera, at least. Anyway, so that's the main thing. Uh, and always ready to smile. It's uh, a big money event for all the carriers and the vendors, uh, these shows, I tell you. Um, lots of money changing hands here, and I think, you know, ties just tend to wait the two to three times a year when these shows are on, just so that they can get their special deals. Of course, it's not just phones, it's all the accessories and upgrades and selfie sticks. It's all part of the show. But uh, we're here to look at the girls. Yeah, so here's the Huawei stand. Um, I do believe Huawei, I don't, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Huawei, 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 it's one of those Chinese things. Let's of course you know how to pronounce it, you're gonna be screwed anyway. Uh, I'm still here to have a look around and uh, see what options there are for a phone. And if I can find something around, you know, a suitable phone around the 10,000 baht mark, I may just pick it up you know, anyway. Oh, and here we go, we got another one, another pretty coming this way. I quite often get asked questions about what's the best carrier here um, for Thailand when you come over. Um, again, I've been with DTAC now for well, over, over 10 years. Uh, when I first arrived, I got what they call a happy sim. This is before all the, you know, fingerprinting and passporting and everything else that you needed to get an account. Um, I did have to go through that uh, process, I think, about five years ago when I wanted to upgrade to 4G. Um, but uh, that being sort of said, I've been with DTAC all the way along, had the same number for the whole length of time. And the way that one works is I pay, uh, I don't actually pay anything for the account, it's a prepaid. Uh, it's what they call a two baht per minute uh, phone deal thing. Um, now, again, when we sort of, when we got Cody sort of set up with his DTAC account, um, I couldn't actually find that particular subscription uh, on the prepaid, so I don't know how he's faring. Something I still need to do further research into. But uh, that being said, um, you know, it's the carrier I still recommend if you're going to be hanging around Bangkok. I've had zero problems with it in 10 years. Uh, and as I said, you know, with the account, the way it's sort of set up, all I need to do is drop, you know, make a payment. And every time you make a payment in the prepaid, goes into your account, um, it tops up your phone for 12 months. Uh, unlike Australia, where a prepaid tends to run out after 30 days if you don't use it. Um, an absolute real rip off. Uh, but as I said, that's Australia versus Thailand, isn't it? Um, it only takes one of those carriers in Australia to do something different and they can completely upset the apple cart for the way the rest of the carriers work. Then again, there may be legislation over there prohibiting them doing that way. I really don't know. But uh, yeah, so I think a lot of the carriers here do the same thing. Um, 
if you're going to be sort of in rural areas, some people are, you know, the general consensus is AIS. AIS seems to have the best coverage over the whole of Thailand. But uh, we've also seen people with AIS in Bangkok finding points of saturation where it just grinds to a halt. I've seen that again on DTAC too, especially out near Bangwa. Uh, we've done some, you know, what they call uh, speed tests along the MRT there, or the BTS and the MRT. And you know what it's like. It, it, you can get all sorts of weird and wonderful things happening with, you know, with your carrier as you change, as you change cell towers. Um, but for some reason, I found it really to be really congested around the Bang Na area, which is around here. I'm not certainly seeing it right here, but I think more a little bit further north from where we are, where Stephen used to live. Um, it just seems to be just a high density population and people just saturating, or just a lack of cell towers to you know to even out the, the requirement for the coverage. Anyway, we're not here to talk about coverage, but just sort of, sort of give that bit of feedback there. Um, you know. What do I recommend? Well, if you're going to be around Bangkok uh, most of the time, definitely look at DCAC as a carrier. Uh, but it's really going to come down to what sort of deals you can get. Try to avoid by getting one and like these tourist sims. They seem to be a bit of a rip-off. But uh, again, you know, uh, you're only here for two weeks and it may not really matter. If you do plan to be out here and be out here regularly, at least once every 12 months, I would definitely be investigating these accounts you can get where you just pay for the sim, Right, you get a very minimal uh, contract, uh, as that's a prepaid contract where you put a, you know, put a couple of hundred baht on the phone and you're just wanting it for phone calls. Once you've got the account set up, uh, then you can do what they call top-up packages. And that's what I do, is I have a 12-month uh, prepaid contract to give me my data feed, which is four and a half gig a month, I think for 399 baht. Uh, and again, if I use that, I can spend another 99 baht uh, as a once-off, that gives me another four gig uh, for two weeks. So there's little things you can do, but so that's the DTAC packages. Uh, definitely worth checking out. And again, if you don't quite make it out there, uh, make sure the phone with the SIM is actually set for global roaming um, before you leave. And of course, uh, when you get back to the country, if you can't make it within that 12-month period, but you want to keep your phone number, all you're going to do is just you know, put the SIM in, drop online, uh, it'll SMS you the passcode into the website. You can drop another hundred hundred dollars on there, or fifty dollars, or twenty dollars onto the account, uh, and that'll top it up for another twelve months. So that's a little bit of a hint of how to deal with this stuff. And uh, for long enough, I've talked about that. Do take a bit of a bit of a push there. Yes, yeah, so and now getting onto phones. Who am I going to go for? I don't know. There's a number of different options. Um, now I'm I'm personally not a big fan of Samsung anymore. Uh, nothing to do with the quality. Uh, Samsung's a good phone and they are really well made. Uh, they, they're made in Korea, but I'm pretty sure most of the in internals are made in China anyway, but uh, let's not go there. Um, but more to the point, my biggest problem with Samsung is what they call bloatware. Um, you're paying for a name now, again, sort of along the same lines as Apple phones. Uh, they've got a very good reputation, there's no doubt about it. Uh, they have a great quality, but I just got sick and tired of having to uninstall all these apps that get kept on appearing on my phone every two weeks. Oh, it's absolutely incredible. No, I just want to run my Android apps. I don't need the Samsung apps. I don't want to support Samsung apps. I just want the, the technicals. Uh, so if I knew more about how to root those phones, I'd probably sort of pull one of them off and actually build my own Android version on them just to, just to stuff them up and not get their, get, get their bullshit bloatware. Uh, but again, I'm so proud of the IT game when it comes to that, but I'm not even going to bother. But the one sort of phone that I did catch the other day was Oppo. So let's go and have a look at Oppo now. I'm just looking for where's the best stand. That looks like a fairly small Oppo stand. Um, and where am I going to buy it from? I don't know. Uh, that's a big question. Yeah, so when it comes to the Oppo, we've got the, uh, the Reno the F11 Pro and the A9. The A9 was the one I was actually looking at. It, it seemed to spec up pretty well. Um, it's got an octa-core processor as far as I know, uh, Snapdragon 655, and really sort of, you know, it does everything you want it to do, and for the price, you really can't go wrong. Um, then again, so the F11, that's a bit bigger. Uh, they're all running the three cameras now. Another one's only got the two cameras on the back. Uh, well, that's got three lenses in the back, yeah, that's right. 
It's hard to tell. That, that's a flash and two lenses. And well, that's a three lens camera, but that's their, that's their flagship range. Uh, all in all, they all look pretty slick. It's always a bit of a challenge because everything's in Thai. I've got to get them to swap the phones over into English so I can look at it so I understand what's going on with the phone. Uh, okay, so the Oppo A9 only has a, a, a quad, what they call a quad core. But again, it comes down to battery life, 5,000 milliamp and everything else. So it's one of those phones that I'm really thinking of, of getting. You know, it's, it's not expensive. Uh, and as I said, it's uh, getting a lot of, lot of air time, a lot of press around the place as being a very competitive model. And more pretty girls for the for the show. Hey, Freddie Cup. What do you have here? Read me text. A new one. Okay. Yeah. I've not. I don't know this brand. Okay. Look at this one. Oi! Everybody wanted to bump into you. So I've just been looking at this one here called the Real Me. They've got all these yellow shirts on. I haven't ever heard of the brand before. Again, you know, really no reputation on on the planet about how good they are, but. Um, uh, the price, 11,000 baht, it has the octi-core processor, it has quite a good range of specifications. So that's going to be really difficult, it's all in Thai, um, I really don't know what they're saying, but uh, they've got a bit of a promotion going on, so there's something to look into there, I really, I, I, I know, I want to buy today as well if I'm going to be buying a phone. And Vio is another one that I've been looking at in, in the background. So again, I don't know what we're being offered on here, but it's something to, something to look at at least anyway. It looks like we've got a whole bunch of promotional bits and pieces to go with it. Oh, oh my God. Of course, the real problem with buying these mobile phones, uh, like uh, the Vivo, the Real, the Real Me, the Oppo, Huawei, uh, they're all made in China. It's just that the Trump has this issue with, with Huawei with some sort of bullshit. No, fake news that sort of somebody said a few years ago. Uh, there's still been no proof that there's anything untoward in the code set. But again, see Huawei and their 5G model uh, it threatens, threatens American business. And of course, this is the whole thing Trump's all about. Anyway, enough of ranting about Trump. Tell you what, I don't know how he manages to keep it in there, but that shows you how many rednecks there are in America. Yeah, so here's the DTAC stand, I think. I'm just trying to work that one out. And a few little pretty girls with their pretty shirts on. Um, but again, it comes down to like when we talk about the pretties, it's a, it's a, it's a very unique business in itself, or well, employment model. Uh, it's very hard to describe it. So we, did, we did talk about it on a recent live stream. Uh, I'm not sure which live stream it was. If I remember but before this thing comes out, I'll put a link to the live stream that we discussed the whole um, idea of the pretties here in Thailand and the different sort of salaries that they command on a daily basis. It's, uh, you know, it, it's definitely be better than being just a typical shop's assistant. Um, but again, they, you know, they don't, you know, when there's no shows on, right, the employment is very, very limited for them. Um, so, and again, it's a very risky business as well. You know, you got your standard pretty models here, and then you, know, you can get up to some of the really high class pretties, which can be a little bit, um, you know, subject to a little bit of weirdness when it comes to obviously the, the risk factors that they have to deal with. Yeah, so I was just looking at the V17 Pro, it's sort of another good model. Um, and it's got, a, it's got a good name, the Vivo, it's been around for quite some time. Um, but it's, a, it's at least, uh, well, I think the price I saw down there was, yeah, the, it's 2,000 baht more. Uh, and it looks like everybody's offering the same thing. It's going to come down to what extras they get. So when you're paying the 12,000 baht, are you going to get 2,000 baht worth of extras? Of course, the other thing I did notice about this particular phone here, if we can get it to actually behave, uh, camera. It does have these, the, the, a dual lens system at the front. Now I can see that's probably 
a, a big problem for the things going to fail after a while, being a motorised lens. And I had the problem with the, the well, I haven't really got a problem with the Panasonic, but again, it's got a motorised shutter and things like that. Anything mechanical like that can wear out, which is a problem, something to consider. But again, it comes down to what sort of extras they're going to give you for the 12,000 or 13,000 bar. It's not a bad camera, though. Yeah, so the Vibo there, the Ace, or the, was it the, the V17 Vibo, <laughs> it's actually quite a good looking phone. Um, they said the, 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 the real me has a faster processor. Um, you don't have to go look at the specification, look at the battery life on the, either of these things here. Um, they said the, um, the, the Huawei phone I've had has actually been brilliant uh, for the four months that I've had it. But as I said, it could just stop working tomorrow, for all I know, until they sort out their bloody bullshit. Sometimes it's hard to pick which ones are the, um, the paid pretties and which ones are, <laughs> are actual customers. I'm pretty sure that one was a, was a paid pretty. <laughs> but I uh, can't really work out who she's working for there. But when it does come to the whole pretty thing, yes, you have the, you have the paid models. Uh, uh, they, they, it's actually quite hard to get those positions as well. Um, you've got to be really so top-notch to really sort of, you know, to command the audience. And we've got a bit of background noise there. But uh, you know, you've only got to look around. There's plenty of ordinary girls here as well that are just as pretty. Uh, this one's just a top. Yeah, top. Uh, I don't know much about the top phone company. But yes, yeah, so I've done the walk around now. Now is the really time to sit down and look at the specifications and uh, see what else is on offer. I'm sure one of, one of the reasons they have all the pretties here, they are very distracting from your from your goals. <laughs> My goal is to find a you know like a, a mid-range priced mobile phone that's going to do me a couple of years. Um, I'll probably give the Huawei phone. To, to Shania, she only really wants the phone for um, uh, the business so she can have the Huawei phone and while it's working, it'll still always work as a phone, but at some stage she just may not have the, um, the apps that go with it, but that's okay, it's only a phone for taking customer calls. My 4G, I'm not quite sure who that is, credit card? Uh, I don't know who that carrier is, it's another one, another oh, ice cat, okay. So it's cat bat. Uh, again, that's another fairly well-known uh, major carrier here, um, but it doesn't get much advertising. Looks like GoPro decided to put a stand up as well. Is it GoPro or is it just a just a, a company that sells GoPro? It's hard to tell. Not that I'd buy a GoPro. I think they're overpriced. This is something I also need to get for Shania's bike. I need to get a mobile phone mount for the bike. We've only got car ones here, unfortunately. Must have got there because somebody out the back. Let's have a look. And here we have the lady in red. She's caught everybody's attention today. And another one. Funny car, I think. Yeah, so it's kind of come down to there's actually one other phone I'm looking for, but I haven't seen the, the carrier, or seen the manufacturers. Uh, something Tim recommended called the Razor phone. Um, I, I'm just trying to recall what brand it was, um, but he sort of says it's got some really good specs, but I haven't seen it here. I know I can get it online, but um, you know, I'd rather be buying from a, a local supplier here. Looks like we've got a um, representation from DJI as well. I don't know how that fits in the mobile thing, phone thing, but I guess, well, they have uh, they have mobile phone control, don't they? So maybe they do fit in here, who knows? Well, that was the other thing about the, the show here. There's so much Bluetooth going on in here at the moment. It's not, it's not funny. Uh, my little remote viewing camera thing here is a Bluetooth uh, pairing. Uh, but it's just stopped working. It just can't pair with the, with the camera, so I'm having to do the whole camera thing manually. And here we are, more pretties. With their focus stuff. Yeah, so I don't know where we're going to go to now. I'm just going to find the... I'm going to find that other phone. I don't know where to start. 
we just had these two people put the headset on me and we played lightsaber. Oh my god. First one I've actually had that felt really comfortable. Oh, I am so tempted. I am so tempted. But I gotta buy a phone first, okay? As for the phone, it's really gonna come down to sort of what options are we getting with the real me? From what I could see, the real me was only for the phone. I didn't see any thrown in extras. And they really have a range of pretty girls. Oh my god. Oh my god. They're splashing it out. Anyway, so let's sort of see what we can get for the options on the on these phones. It's you know it's a two thousand baht difference. And two thousand baht is two thousand baht. That's uh, that's uh, eighty what ninety dollars. Yeah. Anyway, I want ninety dollars worth of extras. No, no, my, my wife, my wife here wanted to take selfie all the time. Yeah. So it's really coming down on the on the choice of these phones, the Vivo and the Realme. That was what I was coming down to. There's a 2,000 baht difference in price. And, but uh, just talking to the guys here, that the extras that they got here for the, for the, for the price was 2,000 baht cheaper. Um, the extra talking there, it's actually made by the same company that makes the Oppo. So that gives a little bit more confidence about it being a new player on the market. Again, they're still made in China, which is just you know, one of those things, but they're not making 5G towers. So um, the chances of Trump going and getting his you know, knickers in a knot about this one here is a lot slimmer than, than, than my phone. Yeah. And so what I get for the extras, right, so we get the, it's like a Bluetooth thingy here, and uh, uh, it's a 5,000, well, 10,000 milliamp power bank, that's actually quite light. Um, some uh, audio head headgear, and there's the phone. So I think it's not a bad package. Um, I'm, I'm sold. And these guys are going to look after me. Now I'm just going to work out how to pay for it because I've only got 5,000 baht cash. I've got my uh, K-Bank app and I've got a debit card. And that's the thing. So we're going to go to find ATEM, but we'll work it out. So I'll tell you how we go with that one. So we just made the payment there. And this first time I've actually used my KR, my K-Bank um, scan QR code thing. God, that was so easy, seriously. Um, it's a feature that I really never get, got the leverage with the Citibank uh, because the Citibank app, um, it either was paired to my Australia account or my Thai account and of course I was always flicking between the two and so I couldn't really run that app on my phone. Um, but now having the K-Bank, it's really quite easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to pair it up to my phone here. Right. Check your body. Oh my God, look at the colour of that. It's so sexy. So sexy, oh my god. Um, so we'll get it paired up and we'll get all the installation, installation done. These gentlemen here are going to look after me. Um, I prefer the pretty girls looking after me, but I don't think we're going to be pretty girls. We've got pretty boys looking after me. Right? <laughs> and he has two earrings too, yeah, yeah, like me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I've got a few people just don't understand the whole earring concept, but you've got two ears, you wear two earrings, okay? Um, but anyway, uh, got to do all the paperwork and get, oh, we've got the payment done, we're just going to get it all set up. Um, I wanted to check, we made it, made sure we had a um, gel case, we got a gel case for it. Uh, that's really all I have a run on these sort of things. Anyway, uh, we'll catch you in a minute. So I have said this before, if you want to get a good deal on a mobile phone, check out when these mobile expos are on. I know if you're coming from overseas, it can be a bit of a challenge. Um, but. Uh, you know, I think they have them about three times a year, like they do with the car shows. Um, and yeah, look, I don't have enough arms to carry all this stuff out. But we'll say goodbye to the lovely girls here on the banana stand. Couple mark up, smile. <laughs> and there we go. I think I'll finish that video up for now, and we'll catch up with you next time. Bye for now.